Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of the new Obsidian plugin series. In this series, we talk about some of the latest and some of the best additions to the Obsidian Comedy plugin library. For this episode, we have shortlisted 9 new Obsidian plugins that you might love. So without any delay, let's dive straight into the video and talk about the new Obsidian plugins. The first plugin that we have on our list today is Callout Menu. Callout Menu is a very useful plugin for people who use a lot of callouts in their nodes. This plugin adds a context menu to the callout so that you can easily change the callout type or you can easily change, remove or add metadata to the callout. If you go to the options over here, you have the option to add different callout types. You can write over here by default there will only be 3 or 4. You can write all of the uh, callouts that you want to get easier access to. And these are some of the callout metadata types. Now if you go back and you open a note, okay, this is a callout over here. Now it will not work in the reading mode but it will only work in the uh, live preview mode. So now what you can do is right click in order to get the context menu and you can see here the callout type. You can change any of these directly from here. Okay. Okay. It is not changed to danger because I have written D-A-N-E-R instead of danger. Okay. So you can see here it is being changed to different ones easily right from here the context menu and you can also add uh, the callout metadata such as a no icon if you uh, select it uh, it will have no icon over here instead of doing it manually it makes it easier to make changes to the callout directly from the context menu so this is a really cool plugin if you uh, work with a lot of callouts or if you use a lot of callouts in your nodes the next plugin that we have on our list now is called as pixel banner Pixel Banner is a plugin similar to Banner plugin which has not been updated for a very long time and it does not properly support on the newer version of Obsidian. Uh, you can see here uh, last update date was a year ago and it does not work properly in the uh, uh, reading mode. So the Pixel Banner plugin tries to solve the shortcomings of the Banners plugin and adds new features as well as a lot of customization options. If you go to the option over here, these are all of the customization options that you have over here and these are the default settings for all of your nodes. If you want to change settings individually, then you have to use the custom field names that are available over here. And then there is the API settings which will allow you to get the images directly from the pixels library, pixabay library, unsplash library, etc. without you having to download or put them into your vault. And you can see here, you can specify the keywords, what kind of images that you want to get by using the API key from these service providers. Then one feature that I really like is the folder images feature, which allows you to add an image to all the nodes in a particular folder. Okay, I have used the image URL over here and uh, set the folder path as patterns folder. If you use keyword, it will use the service provider uh, from here and search images related to that keyword uh, but I have used the image URL so it will only use that single image for all of the nodes in this particular folder and you can see over here examples okay uh, you can use keywords in the banner in order to get a different kind of uh, images or you can directly specify the link from the web to add that particular banner or you can use images from your own world by specifying it like this or specifying it in the format of link. So I just show you an example from this folder image. Okay, you can see here this banner is also applied by using the pixel banner plugin. Now let me show you an example for the folder settings. Okay, this is the patterns folder where I added the URL. And you can see here all of these nodes will have the same banner because we use the link and i guess if you are using keywords and you have provided the api key then it will give a different image for each of these nodes so this is a really cool plugin if you want to add banner and make your nodes better looking the next plugin that we have on our list today is called as ridge foot ridge foot plugins allows you to add backlinks outlinks and a created and modified date at the footer of your nodes okay if you enable the uh, plugin and go to the option you have these three options to uh, enable backlinks outlinks and dates and you can also customize the style of the 
plugin or style in which all of these are displayed so that it matches your world okay so i'll go to one of the nodes and you can see here this here is a footer added by the rich foot plugin which adds the modified date and it also adds the backlinks and outlinks over here since this node does not have any backlinks or outlinks i delete this node and let's say i move to another node called as indestructible and you can see here it has backlinks as well as outlinks over here and these backlinks and outlinks both are clickable so that you can easily navigate between these nodes these backlinks and outlinks are also visible by this side pane if you go over here you can see here these are the backlinks and these are the outlinks but this plugin makes it so much easier to view your backlinks and outlinks and easily interact with them instead of opening the side pane first then going into the backlinks or outlinks it provides a simple overview of all of these backlinks and outlinks that you have along with the modified date as well as the created date for each of these nodes and because this node is very large you have to uh, move down but for smaller nodes you can see here they are visible right over here which makes the backlinks and outlinks feature much useful than having to go back over here and switching between these pens the next plugin on our list today is called as diagram zoom drag and this plugin allows you to add a zoom and drag functionality to diagrams from mermaid uh, graphics and gravizo and others as well i do not have any of these diagrams in my world so I can't show you the demo but if you go over here you can see the diagrams are not draggable and zoomable by default but with this plugin you will be able to drag into this particular diagram as well as zoom into the particular section of this uh, diagram to uh, get a better overview of the diagram. If you use a lot of diagrams and have a lot of diagrams in your world uh, from services like this then you might find this plugin diagram zoom drag helpful. The next plugin on our list today is called as XMind Viewer. XMind Viewer is a plugin that allows you to view your XMind files into Obsidian directly. But remember that this requires you to have internet connection. By default, XMind files are not detected by Obsidian. But if you enable this plugin and you have XMind files in your Obsidian world, you will be able to open and interact with these XMind files. And if you don't know about XMind, XMind is one of the best mind mapping tools you can source for it on the wave if you are not using it the next plugin on our list today is called as open sidebar on hover this is a simple plugin that adds a simple feature to enable the sidebar by hovering over it if you click on enable uh, and go to option you have the option to configure the left sidebar hover and right sidebar hover and what this plugin allows you to do is you won't have to click on this sidebar icon over here in order to open the sidebar you can just place your cursor towards the end and it will automatically open the sidebar you can do what you want to do on the sidebar you can open the files interact with them and if you want to close this sidebar you won't again have to do uh, click on this over here you just need to move your cursor away from this sidebar just like this and it will disappear so this is a simple functionality of this plugin open sidebar on hover the next plugin on our list is called as tab panels and i guess a lot of you guys will find this plugin useful because it allows you to make your notes more compact visually better looking and organized into tabs like section you can see over here in the reading mode instead of looking like this your notes can look like this with different tabs okay i was using the tabs plugin previously which is a similar plugin but this Tab panels is better than the tabs plugin so I have switched from using this tabs plugin. This was also a similar plugin which allowed you to have tabs like section in your notes. Let me go back to tab panels and okay so if you go to option you have the code block keyword which will be used in order to trigger tab panels. Now I will show you an example of how I have used the tabs panel. Uh, if you go to reading list, uh, this reading list is created by tabs panel plugin. You can see here we have tab panels as a code block keyword and this is the title of the tab and this is the content of the tab. And because we are using data view query, this also requires its own code block and tab panels does not support adding code block inside it. So we'll have to use this tilde, which is a key available just above the tab key in your keyboard. Okay, now if you go to preview mode, it will look like this. 
okay you have these different tabs currently reading completed to read unfinished and organized in a very neat fashion this is for data view query okay you have to use the tilde sign for code blocks okay if you are, even if you are writing code blocks over here you will still need to use tilde instead of this so this is just one use case of using the tab panels plugin you can also use it in your regular nodes you can write okay so i just show you by creating a new tab panels tab panels and to create a new tab you will need to write like this you can also i guess uh, write heading okay nice new tab and i'll just write this is the content of new tab okay uh, now i just create uh, another tab with the three level heading this is another tab and and i'll just add some content over here as well and now if you go to preview mode you can see here we have the first tab then we have the second tab and it is looking different because we have different heading levels okay now i guess it looks better the header looks so much big i'll just make the header bold only over here so perfect so this is how you use the tab panels plugin for obsidian the the next plugin on our list is really cool i guess a lot of you will find it very useful if you are working with multiple languages or if you want to study multiple languages like a learning language or if you are working with a multiple languages and if you do not understand them correctly so this is called as immersive translate and this is a free to use translation service for foreign language markdown file if you go to often uh, i don't know what this is selectors and exclude selectors it has here now what this does is it adds a floating icon over here and you have this option for settings you can change the source language to the target language this will be the language that is written in your markdown files and this will be the language that it will translate to and you can use different service providers like google translate microsoft translator and some others as well if you want to use large language models then you have to use the pro version of immersive translate you have the option to always translate this site and you have few other options over here you can also translate pdf epubs and text as well so i'll just show you an example so this is a note written in english if i go over this click on this it will translate this language to italian because i have selected italian over here it will not work in the live preview mode or source mode when you go into the reading mode it will show you the translation now you can see here this is translated into the italian language and you can see here this is also translated everything in this note is translated to italian now let me ch choose a longer note okay so this is a longer note and you can see here all of the english text is translated under it as a italian text it does not even make any changes to the markdown file if you go to the preview or source mode you can see your markdown note intact uh, it just adds another section in the reading mode where you have this translated text that's under the uh, just under your original text and you can click on this restore page in order to get your page back to normal this is really cool i guess this will be a lot useful for people who are trying to learn new languages or just are working with multiple languages that they find hard to understand this is the final plugin on our list that is called as activity heat map and this plugin allows you to track and visualize your app activity similar to github's contribution chart and you can see here this is what the activity heat map will look like and remember it will not track your past data it will only track from the time you install this plugin if you go to option there are no options over here there will be this ribbon icon with this there will be this calendar kind of ribbon icon when you click on it it will show you this activity heat map and there are two metric types that you can choose from word count or file size and then for year you can either choose the particular year or the, the first year which will display activity heat map for the past year up to this month so this will only start to track and monitor changes in your nodes after the plugin is installed so this is all for this list of new obsidian plugins i hope you found some of these plugins uh, valuable and will help you somehow in your own workflow
if you are enjoying my content and you are finding some value then you can support me on patreon by the link given in the description thank you for watching this video i hope you have a great time see you again bye